Hi guys, it's Dr. John back with a dose of the blues. Today we're going to be taking a look at Charlie Patton, often described as the father of the Delta Blues. Charlie was born in 1891, they say, died in 1934, but he could well have been born 10 years before 1891. Some people say 1881. Anyway, however you look at it, he couldn't have been much over 50 when he died. Charlie was famous for being a mentor for other great bluesmen, like Robert Lockwood Jr., the great Robert Johnson himself, and even Howlin' Wolf. Howlin' Wolf has said that he learned so much from Charlie Patton's vocal delivery which it said could be heard up to 500 yards away. So let's bring this song up and see what we, we think of it, uh, his style. This one is Rattlesnake Blues. So there we are, <coughs> Charlie Patton, Rattlesnake Blues. The vocal delivery is incredible, really. It's a, it's a pity that the 
quality of the recording is not great. I think anybody who listens to this for a while will understand just how powerful Charlie Patton's delivery was. It was incredible, really incredible. They say he could be heard from 500 yards away without any application, amplification, and uh, we can believe it if we if we listen to this carefully. There's only one surviving photo of Charlie, and uh, it shows him to be a man of mixed race, black, white, Native American. They say that his grandfather was a Cherokee. Charlie played all kinds of music, not only the blues, he played white hillbilly music, anything that people would pay to listen to. But uh, yeah, his, his, natural, his natural home in terms of his music was of course Del the Delta Blues and he was born and lived in Mississippi all his life. Um, he only made 52 recordings, which I, I say only, it's probably more than a lot of the early blue, blues men. He recorded for Paramount and Vocalion, and in 2001, an ab absolutely sumptuous box set was issued, Charlie Patton screaming and hollering the blues, 37 CDs of Charlie Patton and people he associated with. So if you really want a definitive collection of Charlie Patton, make sure you get hold of that. Um, yeah, Charlie Patton, the father of the Delta Blues, they say that he his playing was uh, very entertaining because he would try to play the guitar behind his back or on his lap or over his head. He was a great crowd pleaser, um, a very small man, just five feet, five inches, they say. Yeah, he passed away too soon, but he'd already left a great legacy behind him. So I'll definitely be playing a few more Charlie Patton songs because anyone who's interested in the blues should be should be really listening to lots of Charlie Patton. So get ready for that in the future. So this is Dr. John saying see you next time for another Dose of the Blues. Thanks for listening.